Hey guys, Xerenthian here, and I wanted to take a moment to talk about the Limo drop from eLeaf. eLeaf's been doing a lot of big things with the iStick, the iStick Mini, the iStick 30 Watt, and the Limo. The Limo is basically like the K-Fun. I mean, it's a great little RTA. I did get the drop, so let me give you a look. So this is the base, and I did do a build on it already. And you can see that's a very K-Fun like deck. You've got your Pyrex glass. The drop has a 2.7 mil capacity. So whereas the K-Fun you're used to that long chimney this is the entire chimney, there to the top portion. And you've got a secondary base, which connects your 510 and the bottom of the limo. And of course, a little bag of goodies, extra o-rings, an extra fill screw, extra screw for the build deck. And in here. They actually include a few organic cotton balls, some camphol, which I don't think anyone ever uses, and some instructions on how to wrap your coils, on how to wick your coils, and different style, vertical and horizontal coils with a length measurement on what you should cut the canthal to to make a coil at the resistance that they suggest. Um, I don't generally build to suggestion, so I'm going to do, and it's the dual build on here, is a 0.56. dual coil. I like dual coils and tanks, some people don't. It just kind of, to me, accentuates the flavor. Oh. So, like I said, just like a K-Fun, this portion, which is your chimney, goes over the base. I'm going to take a quick second throw some wick on here and let you see the differential between this and a K-Fun. Um, if you're not familiar with a K-Fun, there are many clones and many alterations. The uh, Russian 91%, uh, the Black by Artemis is another good one. Um, Basically, some of the companies didn't like issues that they had with the rush or the K fund, so they would just change it up a little bit and remarket it. So, I know a lot of people choose to wick differently, but for K-Fun, K-Fun-like RTAs, I like to actually push the cotton through. So as you can see when you're wicking, it stands up. I will push the cotton through beneath this lead. Give myself just enough to pull it back through a little. 
And that way, that lead kind of controls the directionality of that organic cotton there. Now do the same to the other side. And if you guys were wondering, um, I got this Limo drop kit from VaporDNA.com. They're actually really great on the prices. I mean, you can get an authentic K-Fund. I think nowadays the V4 is running a little over $150. Or you can get a Limo drop and spend about 35 And now, again, I'll take this little bit of a lead and go back down. Because when you build these, it's not like a RBA where you're going to have the cotton standing off to the sides. It's actually going to have to go down to meet this juice channel against the build deck. So what I'll do is I'll pull it through. There we go. And basically, I just lay it against there and cut to that chimney. So you'll end up with something like this, that you then take your chosen juice, and I'm going to use Tasty Trolls Om Nom Nom because this stuff is freaking awesome. And in a tank, I do generally try to make sure that I go a little bit higher on my nicotine just to make sure I'm still sating that craving. So as a dripper, I normally use around 2.5 to 3 milligrams of nicotine. In a tank or an RTA, I'll probably use a 6, if not a 5. just to make sure that this is still doing what I want it to do and that's keeping me from grabbing an analog.
that right now. I'm just putting it up to get it to stick to this base. I don't want to oversaturate it right now, so I'm still going to be working with this wick. I still want my airflow around the coil, but I don't want any of this cotton down in my juice well. I want it all to be able to breathe. And still leave that juice well open, that little channel there. side I'm going to have to trim just a little bit off of. So when you end up with something like this, then you just take your chimney, so you got the right side pointing down. I left my leads a little bit too long to the exterior and it was catching. Definitely don't want that because I do not want to shorten this atomizer. Especially in a tank because in a dripper you can fix a short real quick. In a tank, especially a bottom fill like this that's pressure fit on the glass, you run into the issues of well, now you have to dump all that liquid back into a bottle of some sort. Okay. So, now your tank's all back together. Chimney, build deck, everything. Now you got this little hole here, which is where you fill it. And I'll get to what these little arrows are in just a second. Now, with tanks like this, a needle drip or a needle tipped bottle is the best method of filling. And you'll see why. These drippers are a little bit unmanageable and they don't want to fill correctly. They just want to get juice and repair.
I'm going to pause it and I'll actually time this to give you kind of a heads up on how long it takes me to fill it with this dripper. But give me just a moment. Alright guys, sorry about that. It took me about two minutes to get it to fill right. I didn't want that just to be two minutes of you seeing the top of my head, which most of this video has been you seeing the top of my head. Alright. So, filled, you can see the level there. Generally, just take the screw that they included. And I've got a terrible time of these little screws with my big ass hands. So I'm going to just set it very carefully with a set of forceps. Take the included screwdriver. Check your seal. Make sure it's nice and not going to leak all over the place. Alright, now. Those arrows that I was talking about earlier, they're adjustable airflow control. So that little ring around the screw for the positive has two little notches in it. And you can actually use a set of tweezers or if you can find a screwdriver to kind of just press to one side, you can follow the arrows and adjust accordingly your airflow. Alright, So I'm running this on a Clouper T8 at our 24 watts, and here we go. Drip tip that was included, so it does look very much like a K-Fun with the drop kit. And having spoken the song, it should have saturated, so go ahead and give it a shot. The flavor is really good. Um, I don't like this drip tip, so I'm going to swap it out with one of my shorter ones. As you can see, for an RTA, Vapor Production is freaking awesome. Alright guys, hopefully if you were looking for the limo, this kind of helped you make a decision one way or another. Um, I will say E-Leaf has been coming in hard and heavy with a lot of their products, and this is just one of them that I think can kind of help alleviate those people that want the K-Fun tanking aspect with the rebuildable deck, but don't want to take the expenditure risk. Spending over $100 on something that you may or may not like is kind of a big deal. At $38, this could give you a entryway into that. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and as always, vape safe.